Keith Richards, legendary guitarist of the Rolling Stones, has led a tumultuous romantic life that's been deeply influenced by both fame and his well-documented struggles with heroin addiction. Join us as Faxverse presents Keith Richards Confirms the Sad Truth of His Love Life. Early Life Keith Richards was born in Dartford, Kent on December 18, 1943. He developed a passion for music at an early age, inspired by artists like Chuck Berry, Muddy Waters, and Elvis Presley. In 1962, Richards, along with Mick Jagger, Brian Jones, Ian Stewart, Bill Wyman, and Charlie Watts, formed the Rolling Stones. They, of course, emerged as one of the most influential and enduring rock bands in history. Richards is renowned for his distinctive guitar-playing style, characterized by the use of open tunings, rhythmic strumming, and incorporation of blues and country elements. His guitar riffs are considered iconic, such as in songs like Satisfaction and Start Me Up. Alongside Mick Jagger, Richards has co-written many of the Rolling Stones' most significant hits, including Painted Black, Gimme Shelter, Sympathy for the Devil, and Brown Sugar. He's widely regarded as one of the great songwriters of rock history. Beyond his guitar and songwriting skills, Richards is a multi-instrumentalist proficient in piano, bass, and backing vocals. He also contributes to the band's harmony arrangements. Throughout his career, Richards has struggled with substance abuse, particularly his well-documented addiction to heroin. His wild and rebellious lifestyle has become an integral part of his rock and roll image. While primarily known for his work with the Stones, he's also released solo albums. Notable works include Talk is Cheap in 1988 and Main Offender in 92. Richards' distinctive appearance, complete with trademark bandanas, unkempt hair, and rugged charm, has made him an iconic figure in rock music. The Stones were officially inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989, and Richards was also ranked fourth on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the top 100 greatest guitarists of all time. Keith's Personal Life With regard to his romantic life, there's been some turmoil. Keith has been in a committed relationship with model and actress Patty Hanson since 1983. They got married in 83 and have two children together. Before that, he had several high-profile romantic involvements. Notably, he was in a long-term relationship with Anita Pallenberg, an actress and model, from the late 60s to the late 70s. They had three children together, one of whom tragically passed away at a young age. Prior to marrying Patty Hansen, Richards was married once before. In 1963, he married his high school sweetheart, Linda Keith, but they divorced in 1979. Richards was famously involved with singer and actress Marianne Faithful in the late 60s. Their relationship attracted significant media attention, and they collaborated on music together. Richards' heroin addiction, coupled with the rock and roll lifestyle, led to instances of infidelity. His drug use and fame provided an environment where temptation and opportunities for extramarital affairs were more prevalent. Substance abuse can erode trust within a relationship, and Richards' addiction may have led to trust issues. At times, Richards' heroin abuse appeared to take precedence over his romantic relationships. The demands of his addiction and the lifestyle that came with fame often overshadowed his commitment to his partners, leading to strain and dissatisfaction. Richards' heroin addiction affected not only his romantic relationships, but also his family life. Why Keith Gave Up Heroin Keith's love for his family, particularly his children, played a crucial role in motivating him to change his lifestyle. He recognized that his addiction was negatively impacting his ability to be present and supportive for his loved ones, leading him to prioritize his family over drugs. But there were other things that inspired the guitarist to give up drugs as well. In 1977, Richards faced serious legal consequences when he was arrested in Canada for heroin possession. This incident led to a significant wake-up call for him as he realized the potential consequences of his addiction on his freedom and career. Another thing that caused Keith to give up drugs was concern for his health. Over time, Richards began to experience various health issues related to his drug use. The physical toll that heroin took on his body, including weight loss, deteriorating health, and near-death experiences made him realize the urgency of quitting to preserve his well-being. Richards also recognized that his drug use was hindering his personal growth and creative potential. He felt he was missing out on fully experiencing life and expressing himself artistically. Giving up heroin became a way for him to regain control and explore new avenues of creativity. After several close encounters with death, including falling asleep with a lit cigarette and narrowly avoiding house fires, Richards realized he needed to break free from the destructive cycle of addiction to preserve his own life. 
He found support in his partner, Patty Hansen, who played a significant role in his journey towards sobriety. Her love, understanding, and encouragement helped him stay committed to recovery. Giving up drugs improved Keith's life. Keith Richards' decision to quit drugs had a positive impact on his professional relationship with his band. The band had faced numerous challenges due to his drug use, including his unreliability, erratic behavior, and his struggles with addiction. But his decision to get clean brought about positive changes in their dynamics. For one thing, Richards' sobriety made him more dependable and consistent, allowing the band to rely on him for rehearsals, recordings, and performances. His newfound commitment to health and well-being strengthened their trust in him as a bandmate. Quitting drugs also opened up new avenues of creativity for Richards. He was able to fully engage in the songwriting process, contribute fresh ideas, and bring a renewed energy to the band's music. This revitalization contributed to the band's continued success and evolution in their sound. Richard's sobriety improved his communication skills, making it easier for him to collaborate with bandmates. Keith and Mick Jagger have rarely gotten along. The Stones have had continued success and longevity as a band, but Keith has had a few spats with lead singer Mick Jagger over the years. They've shared a unique and complex relationship over the past six decades. Their story begins in 1960, when they first crossed paths at Dartford Maypole County Primary School in Kent. The two young boys, united by a shared passion for music, struck up a conversation about blues records, which ultimately led to one of the great rock bands in history. From the early days of their friendship, Jagger and Richards formed a formidable creative partnership with Jagger providing the frontman charisma and flamboyance, while Richards brought his exceptional guitar skills and songwriting talents. But they have not always been immune to conflicts and tensions. Their disputes often stemmed from creative differences, control over the band's direction, and financial matters. In fact, their tumultuous relationship has been described as a mix of love and hate, with moments of intense collaboration and periods of intense rivalry. One of their most notable feuds was in the 80s when Richards became embroiled in drug addiction and legal troubles. But despite these challenges, the two managed to put their differences aside and continue making music together. They've learned to navigate their differences and maintain a working partnership. While they might not spend much time together outside of professional obligations, they have found a way to coexist and keep the Rolling Stones alive. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Keith Richards' love life has been plagued by heroin abuse and that he has a love-hate relationship with Mick Jagger? Let us know in the comments section below.